Hey guys, uh, and welcome to a new video brought to you by the Tech Village. Um, in this video, we're going to be discussing and creating our very own Fabicon. Um, just to explain a little bit about Fabicon, this is the icon that is on top of a web document. For example, this little icon here, which is the Fabicon for that website. Um, so yeah, obviously we're creating our own. We're going to be uploading it to our web, very own website. For example, we're going to be using this website. Um, the one right in the series. Um, so let's get started. So we're going to open up a new Photoshop document. Uh, it's going to be 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Um, although 500 pixels is massive, um, the website that we're going to be using will scale it down automatically. So the bigger the document, so 2000 by 2000 pixels, um, it's just going to scale it down and it will be the best quality you can give. Also, you can use Illustrator files, so vector logos, vector images, just to keep it crisp and clean, like them professional Fabricons like Google, YouTube, so on. Um, okay, so I'm just going to use a ellipse tool for the start. Um, I think I'm probably just going to create another version of our logo, but just use it as the Fabricon. So, just basically do your own little thing. So, like I say in all my videos, just do your own thing. Like obviously you can use some of my ideas and some of my tips, but just stick with your own ideas because um, obviously everyone has their own level of creative creativity. So yeah, so just stick to your own ideas and usually it will come out better than trying to cop copy someone else. So simply all we're going to do is put our text in the tech village. So we're going to do big. We're also going to sort out. Whoops! I didn't mean to click on that one. Then mini bridge. Whoops. Come on. Okay, we're going to open up the text type tool, and we're going to space it out, just as we would with any other spacing. And obviously, we're going to put it to our own font, which is how about? Okay. So of course make the text bigger and then of course space it out more. So I think we'll probably stick with 111. That should be good spacing. Okay. Perfect. Sort of. <laughs> um, knock it in there a bit. I think we're probably actually going to decrease it slightly. think it actually might be this. So what we're going to do is we are going to just get rid of that. I'm going to create a new layer ourselves. So obviously you can do um, different icons, so it doesn't have to be text. See, I mean, you probably won't be able to see this very clearly. Um, but, hey ho, that's where I'm going to stick with. Uh, okay. Yep, that looks good. So we'll keep that there. Um, add in our drop shadow and the beveling emboss. In fact, I'm not going to put beveling emboss on. And then just change the text. And there we go, we have our Fabicon. So we're going to save it as Fabicon.png. So we're going to save it as a PNG file anywhere. Save. And then, of course, we're going to save it as a Photoshop file. So Fabicon.psd. Right. So now we've got the trouble how we're going to upload it. So we're going to go to this website here called Convert. Ico.com, and we're going to choose our file, which is obviously going to be the um, favicon.png. So, if you want to find this website, just put favicon no PNG to Ico into Google or um, Yahoo or something like that. 
So we're going to simply find it. So there we go, we have it. And we're going to convert it. Okay, so here's our Favicon right here. Okay, and we're going to download it. Sometimes it won't show up properly, so we just have to refresh. Okay, so here's our Favicon. I'm going to save image as. And obviously we're going to go to our designated space to where we're going to save it. So uh, we make a website. And simply just going to paste it right there. Now that you obviously will need, but also we're going to be needing this code here, or this web address. So simply all we're going to do is we're going to copy that web address and we're going to go to Adobe Dreamweaver. So here we have our website obviously it's nothing special at the moment but hey um, I don't think actually even this is the website that we did in our um, video series but oh well um, and actually what we're going to do is we're going to copy this code I will put it in the description of this video right here and simply all we shall do is just paste it just after the title tag so just paste it right there and in these two uh, thingy mobs, whatever they're called, um, we're going to put our uh, web address. So convertico.com slash images slash the number slash favicon.ico. And simply all we're going to do is paste it in here. And we're going to save this website and we shall open up our files and find the website again. Uh, whoops, wrong folder. Website and where is our website? Okay, so this is our website right here. And there we go, we have our Favicon right in the top corner. So there we go, guys. Okay, so that's the Favicon done. Perfect. Now, on our website, which is the techvillage.tk, um, we have the Photoshop of the day. We have a massive banner. <laughs> suggesting that you look at it. You can also subscribe to the tip of the day. Um, we also have our featured video that is from YouTube and a little about the tech village. I also have our recent videos. You can also join us. You can also advertise on our website and well you can suggest what videos you want to see next. So we'll see this one where it says it's not even on here but there we go. Um, okay so then we've got videos, we've got resources. Now resources, this is the resources page. On the resources, you can download every single file that is mentioned in my videos. So we've got the social network icon from the series. We've got the plain website header and footer, which will be uploaded soon. We've got the Tech Village um, iPhone and iPod Touch lock screen background. That video will be coming up soon as well. Um, obviously, th that video, this video here, is actually exclusive to our website, um, and it won't be posted on YouTube. So if you want to see our this this um, vi guide and video, you have got to check out our website to, to view it. Um, obviously, you've got the portfolio, the, the, all the work I've done. You got subscribed, subscribe to us on YouTube. You got obviously the YouTube page, frequently asked questions, um, and so on. You can also, well, actually, I'm not going to tell you about it because there's a new website coming out. It's called the Tech Village Designer. Uh, that is all I'm telling you so far, but you will be able to see what it contains soon. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the